Ned, 10th hole at Pebble Beach, 495 yards. It's the final of the par fours along the ocean here. The green, the furthest point on the golf course from the clubhouse. Now from here, fairway bunkers in the, on the left, all in play. 301 yards to reach on the left, 361 yards to get past it. And the prevailing wind is downwind. But one of the great things that the USGA do during their championship setups is they move the team ground a little bit to tempt the players into having a go at the green. It's 150-ish yards short. You can see it just in the distance there. It's a new teeing ground to the right of the ninth green. It's the first time it's ever being used in a United States Golf Association championship. I think we should go hit a shot. Well, you and I love this tee box because it challenges the players, especially in match play. It's very situational. If you're up, maybe you play conservatively. If you're down, maybe you fire a pill straight at the green. It's an incredible spiritual looking place here. The beach, Carmel Beach, just down the right side. Dogs and people, and you can have little fires there at night. It's, it's nice, it's a good hang. People sleeping, people walking and running. We are going to try to drive the green. Hopefully we hit it, but if we don't, you and a lot can go wrong. Well, it certainly can, and you did, and you did reference the fact that the tee, teeing ground is almost a 150 yard difference and the prevailing wind behind us they do tempt you into going for the green but it's the visual aspect as well what do you see up there you don't see the green you see the ocean and it's not out of bounds you can play it from down there i also see your house just tucked behind the tent nice little boat i'm going to give you in the yellow ball because i know he likes to spray it in white sand hard to find a white ball i'll go first it's roughly you in 330 ish to the center of the green and we're thinking what to the front 315. 315. Don't don't worry about this girl jogging down yeah. here on the ocean. Little girl okay? You just look at the green. down there. Here we go. I'm taking it at the 11th tee box. Just a nice little fade. Oh, that might get there. <laughs> that might get there. It's on a perfect line, just drifting left to right. That is absolutely perfect. And man. it doesn't matter where the match stands. Now the pressure's on this guy. Absolutely. And we know well, what happens when. He gets under pressure. All right. Four left and right. All right. Well, I'm going to. I'm. I'm taking a more direct line here, Ned. You like the little fade? I'm going to try and get a little, little extra distance out of this one. This is going to be the greatest par ever made. That is. That is right on the flag. That one. Ewan, I'm not going to hit any shots down here because, unbelievably, in a hole and a half, we've lost all the golf balls we brought on the golf course. You and we thought we hit a couple of beauties, but as we know, everything on the tent, it slopes towards the beach. The wind didn't hold these up, we came up short, and you know what? It's very plausible that you could find it and play it from right here on Carmel Beach. Well, it's just a hazard, isn't it? And it's, theoretically, it's a bunker, which is a hazard, but as you said, you can play it now. You're not gonna play that, all right? You can't even and see that. You're in a footprint here, so both of those scenarios you're going back 200 yards to where it crossed. If it crossed though, because if you block it straight away, it's almost like you've hit it out of bounds. So you th theoretically, again, could be re-teeing it. Now, of course, I'm going to give myself a good lie and try and hit this shot. And we don't have any, we don't have any spectators down here right now, but again, it's plausible that you could have a couple of dogs running around, 100 people on the beach, a little gallery watching you hit the shot. So it's pretty nerve wracking, not just the shot. And what do they say about a long bunker shot? Now I've got 60, 65 yards uphill all right, After you saw me hit that tee shot. Show me what you can do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, was, it was good, but it didn't quite make it. I think we could be in for a long ride. Hey, by the way, good match. I, that was 10 and 8 now. You're down. <laughs>